We are given sets A and B below and asked how many sets C exist such that C is a subset of A and B is a subset of C. Recall that B is a subset of A indicates all the elements of C are also elements of A and B is a subset of C indicates all the elements of B are also elements of C. Analyzing sets A and B, first notice that all the elements of B are also elements of A. If this was not the case, C would not exist. If B did have an element, not an element of A, and B was a subset of C, then C couldn't be a subset of A. For example, if B contained the element of six, and B was a subset of C, there's no way C could be a subset of A because six is not an element of A. And since B is a subset of C, all the elements of B must be elements of C, meaning set C must contain the elements of two, four, and five. And since we also know that C is a subset of A, in order to satisfy both conditions, C must be a subset of A that always contains the elements of two, four, and five. Notice that A also contains the elements of one and three, which we can use to form the sets C that are subsets of A that will always contain the elements of two, four, and five. So let's form a set that contains all the possible sets C, which again are subsets of A that always contain the elements of two, four, and five. Well, the first subset would be the subset containing just the elements of two, four, and five. This is one possible set C where B is a subset of C and C is a subset of A. And now let's determine the two subsets of A that contain four elements and also have the elements of two, four, and five. Well, one set C could be the set containing the elements of one, two, four, five. And the other set with four elements would be the set with the elements of two, three, four, five. And then finally, there's one set C that is a subset of A that contains the elements of two, four, five that has five elements, and that would be set A itself. Remember, a set is always a subset of itself. So notice how we have a total of four possible sets C, where for each of these four sets, C is a subset of A and B is a subset of C. So there are four possible sets C. I hope you found this helpful.